welcome to Kayla's World. I'm Kayla Canoe, author, YouTuber, gamer, and aerialist. And today's video is going to be a little bit of a vlog or casual chat about Kendall Vela. So if you guys watched my last video, um, I just started writing a story or rather repurposing a story I wrote for NaNoWriMo a couple years ago and turning it into a serialized series for the Kindle Vela platform because I decided it was time to jump on. It was something I had wanted to do when I first heard about Vela because I was already doing serialized fiction over on Tapas and it just didn't happen because it was a rough year, but I've done it now and I thought it would be worth kind of going into how I'm doing so far on Kendall Vela and what my experience has been and like maybe even hitting on some of the things that you may want to know about or um, things that are important or ways of which um, anyone who wants to support me can support me over there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna start out with saying that I published episode one on December 8th and like it takes time like you get like the like 72 hour notice like when you publish an episode just Amazon has like a waiting period um, my experience is that they've all posted within like within the day like none of them have taken 72 hours to post um, so I posted my first episode on December 8th and today is December 20th so my series has been live for about 12 days <clears throat> And in that time, I have published nine episodes. Um, so I have nine live episodes over there. And as it sits right now, I have 31 thumbs ups on my episodes, which is a good thing, by the way. If you guys don't know, thumbs up help um, authors to be more visible, and it also helps increase like bonuses that Amazon is offering for authors. So if you are on Vela and you are reading a story give it a thumbs up. Um, it's going to be at the bottom of the episode. And I think there might be a thing going on where like it's automatically taking you to the next episode and like you haven't seen the thumbs up yet. So make sure to keep an eye out for the thumbs up and hit the thumbs up, especially if you're unlocking episodes and you're supporting um, the author's work, give it a thumbs up. Um, another way that you can kind of support the author is that if you really like the story and it's your favorite, um, when you buy tokens, you get like the little crowns, little faves crowns. Um, you only get like maybe one per token batch. I'm not sure how many you get. Um, but giving those to the story that's your favorite is going to help support your author because you have to have faves on your story in order to get ranked on like the top 250 list. Um, so I currently don't have any faves. I've only have my story out for like two weeks and I have done some like advertising through social media but I haven't done a lot like I haven't even like sent out a newsletter or anything like that um so I don't have any faves on my story so it's not going to show up on the top 250 list but I do have some thumbs and it feels like it's going pretty well um I also have like quite a few unlocks I believe um, and it's only been you know 12 days and I have I could pull it up real quick and look at it and tell you guys um, I have for this month I have 15 unlocks and 50 episode reads so yeah and I only have nine episodes so like the first three are free to read and then after that they cost tokens so me personally I like short I like short like bursts of writing like e as a reader even when it comes to like reading novels like full novels I like short chapters I like short chunks so that I can like read it real quick and then like if I have time I can read more but for me I need those breaks I cannot stop reading in the middle of a chapter or in the middle of a episode um since we're talking about Kenovella I I won't read half an episode and come back and read the other half later. I have to be able to read the whole thing, okay? Um, 
I just, I have to, like, I can't not read the whole thing. Like, I, I don't want to have to stop in the middle. And so for me, having short episodes is important because the more it's broken up, the more kind of rests, rest spots I have or my readers have. Um, so my episodes are about 600. One of them is 700 words, which means there are only six or seven tokens to unlock. So they're very cheap to unlock, which is good. Um, and from what I understand, if you're new to Kindle Vela as a reader, you actually get 200 free tokens. So if you haven't checked out Kindle Vela, now is a great time because you get 200 free tokens. And you know, with the holidays coming around, you might be spending a lot of time reading. So perfect time to get on Vela and get your 200 tokens and use your 200 tokens because um, Vela is actually paying their authors for those free tokens like through the end of this year. I don't know if they're gonna continue it into next year or not, um, but they are paying them for those free episodes. So normally authors are only getting paid half of whatever the cost of the tokens that are used on their story um, were. So like, they're not getting very much um, for, the, for the tokens, right? So like then if there's free tokens out there and we're not getting paid for them, then that is not good. So get your free tokens and use your free tokens while authors are still getting paid for them. Um, and that is another way that you can uh, support me if you are my follower or friend or just like to read boys love sci-fi um, goodness. Uh, you guys can unlock episodes that would normally cost money for free because you get some free tokens. But yeah, so that is a little more about Kendall Vela. I feel like I kind of just like rambled a bit, but I feel pretty good about like my thumbs up, um, you know, having like 31 likes. Oh, I should, I should mention what I've actually done advertisement wise because that's important. Um, I don't know how much Kindle Vela itself actually has like discoverability. So I know I'm over on Tapas, right? And that's where I post my free Project Infinity, which is linked below if you want to check it out. Um, and I know that that site has a lot of its own like built-in traffic. Like I just post on there and yeah, I have like links on it on my social media and stuff like that, but I haven't really advertised or marketed or tried to get people to read Project Infinity. Most of the growth has come from the Tapas site where there are serial readers there. And so they find my serial fiction and then they read it. Um, so I've had decent growth over there. Now, from what I understand, Kendall Vela, with it being new, doesn't really have that. And I don't think a lot of authors are getting um, just like discovered through the platform, like through readers that are on the platform because there just aren't as many readers on there and it's new and like they're just, they're not being discovered. So for me, I have been um, utilizing my social media to get the word out about my stories. So I post, anytime I post a new episode, I go over on my social media accounts and I post that I posted my new episode. So there are some groups that I'm on on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, I started a TikTok too, which I have mentioned my new series on those TikToks. So I don't know if that's helped me with being seen or not. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really posted anything on Instagram because Instagram still like has me banned or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I've done. Now, what I did do, which could have made a big difference for me getting so many reads and likes in, I would say, a relatively short period of time, um, is that I leveraged my Tapas readers and I went over there when I posted my episode last week um, and I've actually never posted anything on Tapas that wasn't my story before, so this was the first time where I basically posted and let them know about my Vela story and how they can support me. Um, so I think I might actually be pulling some of my readers from Tapas over onto Vela, um, or I just have a lot of friends that want to support me and like my boys love stories. Either way, um, I feel pretty good about Vela and I guess we're gonna like have to do an update video later once I kind of see how all of these numbers end up translating into like 
actual money. Like I understand that I'm gonna own, a, I'm gonna earn a bonus based off of how many people like my episodes, how many episodes are unlocked, how many people follow my story, and I have like 11 followers right now. Um, and then if I end up getting any crowns or favorites, um, those all those things help like boost your visibility, help boost like your rank and things like that, which help increase your bonus. So. Yeah, and I've been posting regularly, so I've been kind of trying to do, like, daily posts. Obviously, I didn't do, like, I didn't do Saturday or Sunday this weekend, and I didn't do Sunday the weekend before, so I might just be doing daily posts throughout the week and taking the weekends off, or I'll have to, like, write ahead of time for some of my future episodes, but, uh, yeah. So that is kind of how my Vela experience is going so far. So I feel like Space Slave is doing well. Um, it's being read. Uh, people are following it. It's getting likes. Um, and it's only been up there for like 12 days. So I'm kind of really excited to see how well um, this will do and how well it will continue to do. And... I'm honestly just excited to like have the story out there at this point because I really love writing boys love and I really like writing serialized fiction which is kind of a interesting thing to learn. I know I've been doing it for like over a year for free over on Tapas just for fun but now I can like do it for fun on a platform where I might actually get paid so that is, that is my rant. If you guys haven't already, check out Space Slave. It is linked below. The first three episodes are free, and the other episodes you can unlock with your free tokens if it's your first time on Vela. Um, if you want to support me and help me make money as a writer. But yeah, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know by leaving comments below, giving this video a thumbs up, or subscribing to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays, and I host weekly write-ins on Mondays at 11 a.m. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed your time here in Kayla's world.